Hi everyone! Today we will be installing the WordApe add-on for Google Docs. Our first step will of course be to create our account with WordApe, and if you're not sure how to do that, please be sure to check out one of our other videos for a step-by-step -step tutorial. After we've gone ahead and logged onto our account on wordeep.com, we'll head over to Google Docs and either start a new document or open up one of our recent documents, which is what I'm going to do today. Next, you'll want to click on the add-on option on your top menu and then click get add-ons. This will direct you to G Suite Marketplace, which is where we'll be able to search for the Wordeep add-on. As you can tell, the suggestion comes up, so we don't even have to type the whole thing up. You just click right over here and it will pop up. So we'll want to click right here on Wordy Google Doc add-on and then click install. Next, we'll click continue to give G Suite permission to start installing the add-on for us. Then you're going to be asked by Google to sign in with one of your accounts, and this should be the same email address that you used when you signed up to Wordeep.com. Next, we'll scroll down a little bit to click allow so that we can allow Wordeep to have access to our documents and be able to edit them for us. Okay, so our Google Doc add-on has been installed and this is a nice picture that shows us actually how to access and activate the add-on. Let's exit out of here and try it for ourselves. So to start editing now, we'll actually be clicking on the same button at the top menu. The only difference is, is that now Wordeep will actually pop up here in the list of our add-ons. So we'll roll our mouse over it and then click start. What this does is it makes this bar pop up. And in this bar, we have the option to click get suggestions. And this is actually the button to show us all of our mistakes and all of the suggestions that Wordy has for us. So I've prepared a little paragraph for us to test this out on. I'll paste the paragraph right now into this document. And as you can see, Google has already picked up on quite a few mistakes. However, I can already tell that it has missed quite a few mistakes. So what we'll do right now is go ahead and click Get Suggestions. And once we do that, Wordeep will start thinking and start analyzing where the mistakes are and give us a bunch of different options so that we can make sure that our document turns out exactly how we wanted it to be. Going through the suggestions is very, very simple. All you have to do is look at one square at a time. When you're looking at the square, if you're not sure which word Wordeep is referring to, all you need to do is click on a blank space within the square and it will highlight the word for you. Now underneath, highlighted in green will be the different options that Wordeep has for us. We'll choose the option that works best for us, and in this case, it's the first one. As you can tell, the word has automatically changed in our document. So I'll go ahead and do that for all of the rest of the suggestions, and you can watch me do it as well. And then we'll give it a read and make sure that the paragraph looks perfect. Okay, so now that we've finished all of our changes, we're ready to give it a read through and finalize our paragraph. Basketball is a well-known sport for individuals of all ages. The LTAD, Long-Term Athlete Development Model, clearly portrays the different stages in an athlete's life that will lead him or her to become a lifelong athlete and be fit for life. This model is applicable to any sport as it takes into consideration the physical and cognitive development, 
of an individual and properly matches them with sport-related behavior that is appropriate to their ongoing development. In this analysis, I will discuss whether basketball appropriately follows the LTAD guidelines and promotes a suitable level of physical literacy. All right, the paragraph looks perfect. I haven't spotted any mistakes that Wardeep didn't catch, and overall, I'm very happy with the results.